Panic selling in crypto markets always brings opportunities and the pros know this and they jump on assets at those times. Look at what happened with Orca here. I'm going to cover the daily and the weekly chart. Fairly short video, but you have to look at crises as amazing opportunities to get coins extremely cheaply, get coins at extreme cheap prices. Orca is up today almost 40%. Yes, 40% within the last few hours. Panic brings extremes, extreme selling, real panic. And then the pros come in, get the coins and make profits in a few hours. Take a little bit of profit on the way up and then they keep the cheap coins for the remainder of the bull run. So if you have money on the side, you can actually buy those dip and get the performance that the pros are getting right now. If you don't know what you're doing, in the last few days, you sold your coins, you got liquidated because you had a lot of leverage on your positions and you didn't plan ahead for a crash of that size, of that importance. Bitcoin is rebounding already also. So there's memes that are exploding and a few big assets that are exploding and coins that we had our eyes on for a while now, like Orca, are responding extremely well. So this is the great way to bottom feed yourself and get cheap coins at an amazing price. I believe the macro is poised to help risky assets in the upcoming months. We may have a further crash here, nobody knows, but that was an amazing opportunity to get your hands on cheap assets and ride the bull run with those coins for the rest of 2024 and 2025. So be aware that next weeks are going to be extremely volatile. We could have upswings and then corrections again of important size, but only the people who stay calm, only the people who stay in the market, only the people who protect their coins and select the right assets are going to be here at the end of 2024, gathering their gains and congratulate them and being happy with the returns that they get by the end of the year. It's just as simple as that. Panic never ever gives you great results unless you selected very crappy assets that fall and don't recover. Orca is not one of them, part of the Solana blockchain and has an amazing rebound right now. We are setting up here a nice base around $2 and then we're going to work towards a golden cross with the ME200 that could still boost the price further up. We have been correcting for a while. So if we reverse this and we go beyond $3 at 350, for example, this whole correction would be canceled and now we would be in a new uptrend for Orca. And that could be the real push of the bull run for this asset. So be aware, be ready. You need to learn how to deal with these extreme conditions. Not only you have to stay calm when everybody is panicking, but also you need to be in the right assets at the right time. So for Orca here, we saw already that in October of 2023, we went from $1 to $9. That was an amazing explosion in price. Now we corrected from $9 to $1.50. Even a coin as part of the Solana blockchain can have those type of corrections. And now we're starting another cycle up, but the base is not at $1, it's at $1.50, so it's higher. So the whole momentum is going up. It's a bargain price in my opinion. At these levels, we could correct, yes, but you're in a zone where buying this asset is on the cheap side and now it has momentum to push forward. The MA50 on the weekly chart is going up to the right and this recent movement will push it even further up. So we're charging towards 350 dollars like I indicated. If we get to those levels, then we will be in a new uptrend for the end of the year and that's what we want. Sometimes waiting for a panic region in the market to get your position or complete your position can be rewarding. Taking profits on the way up, it's never a bad idea. But when you know that 
you're in the middle of the bull run. It's kind of tricky to take that call sometimes, but for those who didn't di do it, they still have their coins and they could add to their position at a very competitive cheap price and ride the wave even stronger upwards for the next push. Hope you enjoyed this video. You need to live through the four year cycle of Bitcoin where we have extreme push upwards and also extreme corrections down linked to whatever macro economics we have at that time and react accordingly. It's never easy, but you will learn a lot in a period of four years. And I guarantee you that the next four years, you're gonna be way better prepared to weather the storm and react accordingly. So that's my advice for future investors in crypto. If you're learning, starting right now, don't get discouraged, it's part of the process, but stay away from leverage. It's not a good idea. Keep your coins and ride until the middle of 2025 and see what results you will get. See you all on the next one.